And Bonte, they'll be without their head coach, Marcelo Fontana. We're underway. The Vipers have the ball to begin the game. They're in their white jerseys, trimmed in red with white hose. The Comets are in their all-blue jerseys, trimmed in white with that iconic Comets logo over the right breast. Four. Couldn't put a boot on it. Comes off to Mosian. Here comes Omaha down the right side. Some open space to Torres with a drive. Save! Made by Waltman. Let's see what... Maybe the Comets can get a little more organized here on these restarts here. Stiguinho is going to trigger it. Let's see what happens here. Stiguinho over to Rodriguez. A little bit off the mark there, so the timing was off on that play. Rodriguez with a right footer. He's a left-footed shot right there. Hope they get it back. Rodriguez to Alvarez. Shot goal! Missouri's on the board first. It's two to nothing. Rodriguez to Alvarez, the team's leading scorer. And the Comets off to a good start. Byron Alvarez will not waste many opportunities that good. That was Omaha got something going in transition, but you're going to have those kinds of opportunities in this game. Tackle there, or a good deflection by Casey Barton. Comes off to Harris. Back to Rodriguez. Got some space. Rodriguez! Oh, the drive just above the woodwork. Comes off to Omaha. Oh, stolen by Taguino. Taguino's got space. Cross to Olivas. Save made by Miller of the Vipers. That's a pretty excellent save by Miller. Taguino, Beasley, another save by Miller. Wow, two good saves there by the keeper, Joshua Miller. Players now to Alvarez. Alvarez crossed the middle, walking it in. Rebound shot wide, no good. Rodriguez again, hit it wide to the right. Television station KWCH is now reporting that MISL Commissioner David Grimaldi has accepted and is expecting the Wichita Wings to be back in the MISL next season. No decision has been made as of yet as to where they will play in Wichita, but according to KWCH, the Wichita Wings are back in the MISL. Does that kind of ring true with what you, uh, you talked to him in the very first game of the season? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely looking to expand. They don't want to be a five-team league. That uh, that the games become a little too physical. Oh. 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 Leo. Oh, Leo. Comets lead. Four to nothing. He wouldn't give up there. Dante, 37 years old. Oh, and there's the first goal of the game for Omaha. Off the restart. And down under 10 seconds to go. It looks like Omaha will have one more opportunity. One-on-one situation. And Mugen could not convert. Head coach Kim Runfed. Coach, what did you think about the team's effort in the first half? One of the best half that we've had all year. Created enough chances to at least score three or four more goals. That's the way it goes when you go out and uh, see if we can put another 30 minutes together. Battle for it at midfield. It's knocked into the Comets' last third. Here's Waltman and Austin for both there. Uncorks a shot. Waltman a save. Holy cow. Does he have eyes in the back of his head? Oh, just brilliant work again by Waltman. And now the Comets with a the counter. There it is. Byron Alvarez. <laughs> Ole. Puts on the sombrero from the first row. 
<laughs> Crowd loving that goal. What a great goal by Byron Alvarez. Ayabusi slides in there to hold it in for Omaha. Frederick Mosier out front. Save made by Waltman. All right, here's a drive for three. And Waltman comes up with another big save. And then forward it comes to Asadpour. Still have the advantage. Here comes Asadpour. Over to Taguino. Taguino for both. Alvarez! He's going for the hat because he's got the hat trick. Down to it, and then they quickly get a score. That didn't take very long. Into the middle of the motion. Now across the field to Chico. Across the area, and on the volley, it goes in! Another sixth attacker goal. And this one is scored by number 11, Deco. Look out, folks. The Vipers are coming back. It's 8-6. to six. Deco double-teamed by the Comets. Now Deco's getting into it with a couple of Comets players. Long one from three. Game over. Asset Poor. A three-pointer. The Comets are going to win it. 11-6. Omaha touches the ball, and that's going to do it. Horn sounds, and the game is over. You said at halftime it's not really your team's style to win with ease, and it was kind of the case. It got really interesting down the stretch there, but a win nonetheless uh, keeps you in the, alive for the playoffs. It was an, uh, a nail biter. And they, 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 you can look at it two ways. You can either uh, in a positive or negative way. In this case, I want to look at it in a positive way, and they battled hard in there and they certainly deserve the W. Well, we've got to regroup, enjoy the W, and then wake up early tomorrow morning and go to Chicago and see if we can do it again. Well, good luck uh, tomorrow, Coach. Uh, uh, get some rest tonight uh, for the quick turnaround tomorrow. We'll try. Thank you very much. All right, back up to you, Nick. That's Coach Rutbeck.